For thousands of years, the Old Republic was protected by the Jedi, a monastic order dedicated to Ashla, the light side of the Force, practicing humility, patience, empathy, and compassion. Though only a select few possessed the Force sensitivity necessary to be recruited among their ranks, those who were chosen grew powerful over time, able to move objects with their mind, detect other Force users, and manipulate the weak-minded. It also enhanced their physical abilities, making them faster, stronger, and more resistant to distress and pain. Yet as new generations of Jedi branched off into new areas of research and study, some began to experiment with Bogon, the dark side of the Force, leading to the first Jedi Schism 24,500 years before the Battle of Yavin. Though the rogue Jedi were defeated, and the Order eventually recovered, the allure of the dark side could not be eradicated, and they again faced crisis in 7003 BBY, when Master Ajunta Paul led his followers in a second great schism. A powerful Jedi, Ajunta Paul spent his life studying Force alchemy, becoming enraptured by its potential to manipulate life and death, able to transform living creatures into new life forms of his own design. Yet when he presented his findings to the Jedi Council, they were horrified, believing these unnatural creations to be the work of the dark side, and so forbid his research. Outraged by their reaction, Master Ajunta Paul and his sizable following ignored their decree and continued to practice the dark side, leading the other Jedi to take up arms against them. Throughout the Hundred Year Darkness as it became known, Ajunta Paul and his followers used their Sith alchemy to create savage beasts and monsters to help them in battle. However, even with these creations, the Dark Jedi were vastly outnumbered and suffered their final defeat at the Battle of Corbos in 6900 BBY. Captured by the Order, Ajunta Paul and his people were exiled from the Republic and so left known space, eventually finding the planet of Korriban, populated by a relatively primitive species known as the Sith, who had an unusually powerful connection to the Dark Side of the Force. Although their king Hakagram Grouch was hostile towards the invaders, his second in command was swayed to join the Dark Jedi and betrayed the ruler. Ajunta Paul then personally executed the king before subjugating the Sith species, who in turn accepted their new overlords, as they were amazed by their advanced technology and remarkable force powers. The Sith proved ideal subjects, as they respected power and authority with a strict caste system already in place. Under the rule of Ajunta Paul, who became the first Dark Lord of the Sith, an empire was founded which expanded beyond Korriban, allowing them to move their capital to the planet of Zyost. In the years that followed, the Dark Jedi used their knowledge of Force Alchemy to interbreed with the native Sith and brought forth new generations of highly Force-sensitive children to be trained all their lives in the ways of the Dark Side. Though Ajunta Paul ruled as Dark Lord, he was not alone in his efforts, with powerful Dark Jedi who fought by his side during the Hundred Year Darkness, now helping him create a new civilization to be ruled by the Sith Order. Among these important and influential leaders was Sor Zhu Sin, a master of Sith alchemy who was responsible for many of the Dark Side monsters that helped them during the war. The author of the code that would guide their people for thousands of years, Darth Sidious included a passage from her private journal in the Book of the Sith. There was also Zozan, a master of dark side healing, who eventually created a holocron with much of her knowledge, which allowed her to train Darth Krait many years after her physical death, becoming his first Sith master. Remulus Drapa stayed on Korriban for years and helped them build the foundations of their civilization, but he eventually grew restless and led a group to leave their world to wage war against the Jedi. Yet their ship was stranded on the planet Kesh, along with several Jedi, leading to the War of Great Calamity until Drapa was overthrown and imprisoned, allowing for the remaining Dark and Light Side Jedi to join together and form a new Force-sensitive community that combined their knowledge. Karnas Moor, who wielded a yellow protosaber, possessed a talisman created by Sorzu Sin, which allowed him to enslave many of those around him and which was imbued with part of his spirit to survive beyond the death of his physical body. After decades of rule alongside his fellow Dark Jedi, Ajunta Paul died and was entombed in what became the Valley of the Dark Lords. But by that point, his mastery of Sith alchemy and the Dark Side was so vast, his spirit endured for thousands of years. Yet in death, Paul began to question his choices in life and came to regret having embraced the Dark Side. And so in 3956 BBY, when his spirit was visited by the Jedi Revan, the first Dark Lord of the Sith was convinced to once again embrace the light side, finally allowing him to know peace and become one with the Force.
Love audiobooks? Then be sure to check out Audible, where they have the world's largest collection available. Simply sign up through the link in the description box below and get two free audiobooks to start out. A special thanks to all those who contribute to Civilization X, like youtube.com slash soulguidemedical, De La Cruz the Freed, Matthias King of the Kobolds, and the Spectral Knight. If you'd like to help Civilization X, click on the Patreon link, and please be sure to like, subscribe, turn on notifications, and click on the links to see more.